P-Tech, man. RIP Tech. RIP Tech. Space yeah, Man. Let's get it. Hop off a yep. 16 passenger. This is G5. No, this not a challenger. Yeah. I keep some members with me in the fridge. Get coat seats. They some cannibals. Uh-huh. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Missed the Damn. Chill out. Now she says she's saying 3D. Yeah. I go in the jungle and then got a coat. I bet I come out with a meme. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Could this shit bigger than me? Hip hop legend. 28 years old. Way too soon. Crazy. Nah, for real. Water on me like the sun. Of sun carry some pointers. All these comers, I won't fun from me. Go gunners out the junk. We got it all. Fuck a front of nigga. Cake on me, no fun. Yeah. Drop top, feel like stunning. Yeah. Can't be play no run. We gone. Chrome my wallet. Smoke my pilot. Take three vibes to the trappers. Trappy. Nigga, one shit. I was outside just serving narcotics. Pay me that stick. Nigga made one wrong. Man, rest in peace. Jesus. Shit's crazy. This shit don't even feel real. It's crazy, it bro. Not at all. It's yeah, really crazy. Like it's nuts. I I wonder if like I don't know, bro. Rest in peace, take off. Man. Seriously. Uh, a million times over, man. A million times over. That shit <coughs> is crazy. Crazy. Low key, humble, stayed to himself. Yeah. Stayed out the way, stayed man. Stayed out the way. Nigga stayed out the Tried way. Tried to stay out the way. Just came in the studio, dropped bars. <laughs> gave right gave niggas a gave niggas a, a album for real probably one of the better Migo albums in a while yeah yeah that's like, nice it could actually rap right like rap he's the rapper yes. he's yeah, the he's rapper is the rapper in the group convinces his uncle to start rapping like that shit is nuts yeah Rest in peace, take off, man. I, I don't think Rest there's any peace, worries. Man. I'm not expecting for y'all. Sorry for the dead silence, but I'm not expecting for it's y'all. Tough, I feel that it's silence so at all, but I feel this like... This is new news, like, yeah, new yeah, news. Like. Yeah. It's tough, man. That's that's a, that's a tough one. Prayer says family, friends, loved ones. Everybody that had to get that call or see that tweet or see that video. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not fam in that sense, but, like, you know, we all woke up, saw the same stuff, and yeah. it felt like we lost, <laughs> like, one you of lo- our own. You feel me? Day. Yeah. And we really did. I mean, like, again, someone for the culture. No someone, pun. <laughs> no pun. <laughs> someone that really came with it when he got in the stew. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just unfortunate. I mean, and we just talked about the album, I think, twice on this pod since it Bruh. dropped. Uh, yeah. Just how great it was and how in sync both of them sound, but how Takeoff really was like, okay, this turned is, up. Yeah, this is my album right here. This is this is my time to really yeah. go crazy. But rest in peace, man. Prayers to the family, everybody that's involved. Um, obviously, there's a lot going on. Uh, obviously, speculation, stuff that we don't know what's true or not. But um, still, obviously, family, um, Quavo for sure. Uh, Moms, dads, kids, everybody, prayers up. Yeah, that's tough, man. I I don't got it. nothing else. I couldn't, yeah. bro. I couldn't fathom it. Like I said, we we were just talking earlier, like your relative. But imagine, like this, not only your relative. This is, I mean, in Quavo's instance, his, his younger sibling or a younger mm-hmm. relative, somebody that you feel as though like. Knowing that feeling, you feel, mm-hmm. you know, every little cousin, every little brother, mm-hmm. every little every little relative, you feel a responsibility or due, jeli- due diligence to take care of. And so being in a situation where you might feel helpless in that, I couldn't, I couldn't fathom it. You know, that's, that's, that's a really tough loss to take. So, man, I'm, again, praying for fam- fr- friends and family, praying for Quavo, his yeah. well-being, um, Offset, um, Atlanta, we gotta just, man. That should make you not want to go nowhere, bro. A hundred percent. That should yeah. make you not want to go. No, at least around here. Yeah, I'm taking sure. my ass to Bali. I'm playing with you niggas, man. I'm not going nowhere down there. That's yeah, like crazy. I, like I'm I've, cool. I've like seen some instances like locally where people have, po- and you know, going back to like B Rock and whoever it may be, Pop Smoke. Like I, like I've seen local instances where people have posted, "Yo, like I'm at this spot in this city and yeah. shit has literally One happened." Left. Like, I tell two people I'm coming home, three, moms and the homies. Like, yep. go 
those are the three people that I tell that. And I'm not worried at home, but at the same time, like, nobody else really needs to know that I'm there. Yeah. I'm in and out anyways. And, if like, those those are the people that's going to see me when I'm around. Yeah. Like, I'm not I'm not all around the city doing anything crazy. But, I mean, you just you just never know. Yeah. Like I said, you got to keep that circle real tight or small. Mm-hmm. I'm just in the house. Yeah. Even, like, bro, it's tough, bro. Even in those scenarios, we talk about it over and over that. They literally got a song called Mixie. It's like, you know, it talks about being out there but not being out there. They talked about it in their last interview where they're like, yo, we got to be out there because of our status. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's something that we kind of just got to do for the fame. But it's it's getting harder for, I think it's getting a lot harder for, for artists to really even want to do that. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I'm at the telly and I'm at the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm going home. Like, I'm not out. playing around, man. So. In and out. It's just unfortunate, man, especially to see the resurrection of Migos coming back. Like, mm-hmm. this was that. You know what I'm saying? This was like that prime number two they were stepping into. It's yep. got to be unbelievable if you're Quavo. Like, for real, for real. Man. Being in that moment, like, it's got to be like. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. And again, like, I feel like having that responsibility, like, that's a, like, and feeling like. You this is your kinfo. This is your you nephew. Failed. Like, legit. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. my sister's. This is my sister's son. Like. I would feel responsible. We talk about this all the time with younger cousins. We all got younger brothers. It's always, you feel responsible for those younger than you, but it's like, shit, this scenario. I can, I don't know. Praise up for him. Those, uh, his loved ones. Family. Yeah, Everybody that's surrounding them, their camp. Yeah. Yep. You know, you start thinking about like the people that love you, but also, you know, these two are, there are so many people that depend on these two. It's yeah. not to put it there, mm-hmm. but like not only are is it are they sons, do, you know what I mean, sons yeah. and uncles and whatnot, but also it's a business. Yeah, he's got like you know what I mean. Apple, like they are Apple to their community. For yeah. real, bro, it's scary. Factual. Yeah. Rest in peace, man. Rest Facts. in peace. Like, yeah, a million for times sure. over, man. Damn. How do you come up out of that, man? You know what I mean. Play another song real quick. Yeah, something, yeah. something getting a little. You gotta take it back, man. You gotta, you gotta play some OG, some yeah, OG Migos, man. man. Get us, get us hype, man. Get us lit, man. Because at the end of the day, you man, got left um, off of Bad and Bougie, so don't play that. You one. know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we so definitely got left off Bad <laughs> Who got left off Bad and Bougie? <laughs> Do it look like I got left off Bad and Bougie? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. We gotta, we, we we gotta again. This is a celebration of life. Yeah. End of the day. Load up the Drake. Fuck it, I'm making them pay. It's high, and niggas won't take it. Hey, uh, I'm having yeah. my way. Set out here having his way. Mm-hmm. Quay out here having his way. Hey, and just like me go out t- take. Hey, come me. on. What? Load up the Drake. Yeah. What else are they gonna play? Yeah. It's high, and niggas won't take it. Yeah. Hey, I'm having yeah. my way. Set out here having his way. Quay out here having his way. And like the third me go out take. What? Hey, yeah. Now that I'm picking it through, I just ain't fell in love cause I'm way too awake. Wait. And she tried fucking a rapper to break up my heart, but my heart. Got to. Yeah. You got to. You got to. You got to. Where's that when this guy's coming? Come on, man. Versace, Versace, Medusa head on me like I'm no Medusa. Just got out of basic training. This is a gated community. Just get the fuck off the property. Alex? That must be changing yeah. cause I'm at the top and then no one It's 2013, right? They gotta be, yeah, they gotta be the first ones. The first for a first for a man. That's not a swap to me. It's junior year then. I think they did the most with like the um the cosign. Oh, oh, 100%. It's only it's only two cosigns that went off. What well, went truly off? Little baby, or uh, uh, little baby nigga. Then was the two that actually like came on. Yeah. Smiley. I'm not doing this, bro. I'm not doing this. Come on, we got light in the mood a little bit. Hey, man, we are. What episode is this? 115? 115? Come on, man. Let's do it, man. We have to start off with some serious business. Yes, we did. Celebration of life, man. Celebration of life. Of course, man. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, the man. Boys are back in town. From one to another, man. A uh, little in lighter news, man. We gotta say, um, our tight end, the Detroit Lions. <laughs> oh hell no! 
T.J. Hawkinson. That's what we're doing. That's what we're taking this, out of here. You know what I mean? That's where we want to take this. We don't want no mullets in the locker room anymore. We got we to gotta get them up out of I here. I thought we wanted to, to, to lift the... Lift yeah. the spirits. Yeah, hey, lift the spirits. I'm, hey, I'm we, happy. We just lighten the load about I have 10 million. TJ Hawkinson. We're good. We there's lighten no, the load for the Lions. He's there, on my fantasy team. There's no reason he's gonna, you're go good. He about to, he's he's gonna, gonna go off. He's going to go off. I'm about to win some bread. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> there's no reason Lamar Jackson can't come to Detroit next year. <laughs> <laughs> so All right. <laughs> that nigga Lamar Jackson. Nigga, fuck out of here. He's, he's going to be a free agent. Yeah, I know. Baltimore would be a Literally thought about trading TJ last week. I was like. No, nah, mm-hmm. look at you. Lions there too. Held your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Lions they went, there too. And they went for it. <laughs> yeah. it. Somebody had to take some action. Uh, yeah. Damn, man. Yeah, man. Detroit Lions. They uh, what are we they doing they here? moved our, our uh, probably second or third best player as of this year. Um, DJ, DJ Hawkinson. This is uh, no only more. news because it's local news. Is that fair to say or no? I yeah. guess it is. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird how like trade or like. Divisional trades happen, like literally, he got traded two hours away. Like, bro, like he didn't go across, across the uh, bro, country. It's scary. I feel like you he gotta went, have some type of um. <laughs> he went right up the road. You gotta have a non compete in this bitch. Like, <laughs> he went it, right it, up the NFL road. need non competes. <laughs> you can't, you can't get traded. The first trade cannot be to our division. Well, it's, ba- it's bad in the NFL because you only got 16, 17 opportunities. You feel whereas me? in the NBA, you got eighty two. So if I go from Detroit to Indiana, it's not that big of a deal because right. I got a shit ton of games. But with with Football. We're playing yeah, these niggas sorry. twice. The pa- Maybe. From the Pistons to the Pacers is yeah. what I was trying to say. Yeah. But if I go from fucking the Vikings to the Vikings from the Lions, I got, I'm going to beat your ass two years. Awesome. And I'm going to, and that's uh, two two games. Sorry, I'm going to beat your ass for two games, but two weeks out of the NFL season, yo, that's a lot yeah. of games. And he goes from one and six to six and one. That's crazy. Flipped it. Oh, I see he the bar. switch. <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> you niggas want to laugh about this? I don't know. <laughs> I just know we're tanking our season now. I don't know no more. And now that's what it is. Yeah, I know. All, All right. right, I don't even want no right. tickets no more. I'm going to the weak ass games. <laughs> Take these weak ass niggas, bro. I'm good. <laughs> I see these whole ass niggas next year. I've always wanted to go. Season. To <laughs> I've always wanted to go to a game and just leave in the first half after the first half. <laughs> <laughs> go sit at the uh, go sit in a four field bar and just go get drunk somewhere. And Have you out. ever gone to a Thanksgiving game? Yeah, yeah. yeah. one Jacksonville Jaguars. I yeah, think we played the Colts. That's straight. They lose. Yes. Nah, they beat their ass. That's good. Straight. That's yeah. what's up. <laughs> Jaguars are only only only. It's only a couple franchises that got it worse than Detroit. And Jaguars right. is one of them. Like, yeah. Y'all niggas ain't never winning. <laughs> <laughs> y'all always been a failure. Y'all niggas always gonna be ass. Y'all niggas be talking about Cam Newton still. Yeah, <laughs> <for sure. laughs> That's funny. Damn. They ain't playing, bro. Man. Crazy. What else, was a week, man? though, man? I mean. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, what's up, man? I mean, let's kick off the pod. Who's <laughs> here? Yeah, it's, it's the intro. Yeah, we, yeah. Them <laughs> shit. Yeah. I mean, hey, how it works. We started off the pod right. <laughs> we did. We did. We here. We here, man. We lit, man. It's episode yeah. one fifteen. Yes, sir. My name is Daryl. I'm here with a few great friends. Cr is Batman. Your favorite broker. Favorite hey. broker. Man, I uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm work the room. Oh. I got the shooter in the room. Shout out to Mark, Mark. sir. Mark's um, man. The marksman, Mark. Mark, Mark. I got the Ranger. Your yep. local, your local camping yep. guide. Yep. Yeah. Call me if you get lost. Mm. Crocked up and socked up. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with us so you get socked up. Mm. Mm. Ah, I got these Marils. Marils. Yeah. These Marils. You got to make something around with the Marils. Shout out to the sponsors. These Marils. Oh, these oh. Marils. Yeah. We don't play that week. These Marils. Yeah. Yeah, we don't wear Crocs. My bad, bro. My bad. Marils. That's no, cool. Hydro Mox. Oh, yeah. Marils. I got the nine from Daryl. Mm. Mm. Here we go. Mm. Recovery. Recovery. I like that. Yeah. We like that. We need these jokes. Talking Will Ferrell. I had Come some on. shooting bars, but I just don't feel like it's the right week. Nah, right. you're you over it? Yeah. I feel it. That's cool. Really. It makes sense. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be next week, but this cool. week I'm, 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 I'm coming bars up this week, man. Yeah. I'm tired of this. Oh, I'll, I'll be ready. You'll be taking the team. I got yeah, I to sure. come through. I got to use my um, my third eye. Oh. <laughs> 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 and then we got, we got man, uh, the man, the myth, Cabernet J, sipping on bubbly. Yeah. Just Big Napa, no Kappa. Shh, big nap in North Carolina, just being honest, got the wine straight from Isaiah. Thomas, mm. damn. Fired mm. up. Fuck with us, we mm. leave you jawless. Mm. Fired up. Bubbly's been out here flawless. Mm. I've been out here living lawless. Living lawless. 
I don't know. She came over mm. to the office. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, he went off bars. Let's get it. Bars. Let's Let's do it. Cheers, man. Y'all cheers, man. We here. I like it, man. Y'all made me I smash like it. it. Yeah, I'm not just drinking a whole glass of money. You damn near, boy. Head. You on uh, tip, man. I'm trying to say this for y'all. Mm-hmm. You over there going murder gang. Oh, Play battle. It's church block. <laughs> Ranger, how the week been? What's Yo, happening? week's been good, man. Um, since the last time I seen the boys. Yeah. Um, we went out Friday. A little guys time. That was cool. Always good to hang out with the guys. Um, I got out there before, before uh, the hours started. I thought, I, yeah, it looked like y'all was going to stay out a little bit later. I got a little worried. No, we went home. Okay. You good. Because, okay. you know, it dictates it. You feel me? Like, if one of the homies dip, it's a cycle. You know, niggas start to reevaluate. I was at that point, though. Like, especially once Alex came in and shout out to my guy. But he's like, oh, yeah, you trying to go hit the move? Like, you know, what's I can get a sand for the free ball. We got the little booth. And at that point, it was like. Do it, does this go left or do I go home? Okay, I didn't get that story. Yeah, oh, well, you know, you know, you left. I could, you be, know, I could be enticed easily. You know? No, you left, you left, and so that's what the ultimatum was. So I decided to go home as well, <laughs> um, just because we know on Saturday was going to be a film, which it was. Shout out to uh, Haji and Manny putting on the spooky bar crawl. Um, nice, nice. Shout out to them boys, man. They did their thing. Um, great turnout. A lot of people came through, man. It was a good time. Uh, them boys, Manny DJ'd his ass off. Shout out to him. Haji, obviously, the host that he is, got everybody in. Love Ran it. very smoothly. I appreciate when people know how to throw solid events and mm-hmm. logistically push it together well. As a project manager, naturally, I'm just like, in there. these logistics off, I'm peated. Like, yeah. what, we, what are we doing here? You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was dope. You know, all, every bar had a stupid long line. Like, I mean, wood wrapped around wood. You know what I'm saying? Like, these, you know? And Same y'all thing. just going in. They at the door, like, wristband, go. You know, everywhere. Mm, Dublin nice, Hall, same nice. way. We went through the back. Now, I felt El Presidente when we went to Dublin because it's like the back door. We walked through the kitchen and that motherfucker. I said, <laughs> what's up, chef? <laughs> How many? Y'all, y'all 100 deep. I mean, sh- roughly, I mean, people started to, Dublin was the first stop, so people started to trickle in after that a little bit. So, at, at Dublin, we were about still about 30 deep. So, you got, like, oh, this wow. line of maybe, like, 200 people. We cut through that back door, walked straight into Dublin. You know what I'm saying? Like. Dang. That was dope. Pull up to the wood. You got, you know, wood had the line wraps. We go through the exit side, wristbands up. Like, yo, we in here. Same yeah. thing with, you know, every spot. So it definitely was a move. I think if somebody can curate the concept of doing a crawl, um, even if you did one bi weekly, I think that that would be a move in the city of GR. You pay 20, 30 bucks to get into every bar. Yeah. Like, this shit, a uh, uh, speedy pass at, at Cedar Point. You feel oh, me? Like, yeah. that's a move. So. Um, I just gave them niggas a, a whole vibe. I need uh, uh, I got IP in that. Don't play with me. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, but yeah, all in all, definitely a vibe. I had to shoot, so I had to kind of keep it tame. But why I came up here at the time of his life, Watanabe uh, Bay. Shout out to my boy. He Watanabe. he got too lit, man. Way yeah. too gone. I ain't never seen my man's like this. You know, yo, you know somebody lit when they they don't talk no more and they just start smiling. Like they don't say nothing. They don't even move. He wasn't even moving, bro. I could just picture old boy, you know, him drunk and then uh Do you wanna party with <laughs> <you?"> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, I said sub to him like I, I forgot. We and mind you, we had a whole conversation about TikTok, which I'm gonna bring up later when we get the culture, but that um Bro, I'm I'm talking to them in the car like, yeah, man, uh we're gonna get to the crib, we're gonna, you know, get stuff together, and then we're gonna dip. Man's looked over at me and was like I said, oh, you're not leaving the house, boy. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> we get to the house, bro. I have to help him up the stairs, like yeah. carrying him up the Damn. stairs. It was nuts. Uh, everybody that I went with, um, completely KO. But shout out to the homies, man. It was a good time. Great Love event. Um, let's run it back again. I think they're doing a Thanksgiving crawl. So, um, yeah, that should be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Saturday, recovery day, super chill. Um, and then this week, man, get into it. I uh, had a pretty big shoot today, so a nigga is exhausted, but that's the life we chose. Next week, a nigga might be flying to Cali for a project, too. So, mm. again, the life we chose. It's a vibe. It's mm. lit. I love it. Thank God every day wow. that he blessed me with these opportunities wow. to get this dope and yeah, make shit man. happen. Bill, how was your week, my boy? <laughs> man. The week. Went home. Watched my boys in blue catch a dub. Okay. W in the first half. I forgot about that week shit. We oh, talking oh about he's it. talking about McCaffrey. Uh, M- McCarthy. Yes. You talk about that running back at quarterback? No. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, that running back at quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. He take three-step drop. Yeah. Get the fuck out of there. 
<laughs> First down, McCarthy. I was like, yep. I'm like, damn, nigga. I'm about to break the running record. Yeah, yeah, Tim Tebow head ass. <laughs> <laughs> so went home for the weekend. Uh, okay. Before the game, though, um, got the chance to actually get in a wine bag this past weekend. Friday, mm. uh, went to work, a wine dinner. Um, out in Okemos, uh, shout out to Red Haven, uh, Red Haven Farm and Table, I believe is the name of the restaurant. Okay. Um, winemaker went Thursday. I was going home anyway, Friday. So I was like, yo, like I'll, like, I'll slide. Facts. Um, and I was like, damn, this is like my first time, like really kind of doing this type of event. Yeah. Yes. I know about the wines, but like, I don't know like how these things like really go. Yeah. Um, but really got the chance to like put people on not only Medallas, but Michigan wine and just like how to like, <coughs> get that perception out of your mind that you may only drink Napa Cab or you may only drink wines from the West Coast or from France or whatever. Right. Like, you have to drink these wines without that preconceived notion that it's, like, you have to be in the moment with the region that you're in. Like, you can't compare it to really, like, another region. Yes, right. we're trying to focus our wa- wines on certain regions, um, but, like, it it, it it just felt good to, kind of, to kind of be the, that focal point and uh, talk about wines also, just kind of talk my shit. Obviously, got to plug just how I got into the industry in general. Mm. Um, but yeah, so that was Friday night. But these um, niggas now you influential. Man, super fucking dope. That boy Mixy. Super fucking dope. Like it just really felt good. And now, like, I don't know, like just what can happen next, or like you know, like I don't know, like as far as work goes, but also as far as like events for the pod, like how that looks, and like yeah. how being that focal point, like that wine focal point can kind of go moving forward. Um, but that was super dope Friday night. So I was already on a high going into the game. Me and E, shout out to E, uh, Eric uh, Davis, <coughs> my homie, uh, best friend, longtime friend. Uh, we got to Ann Arbor like. The fuck am I? Yeah, if I mean shit. Just a fucking strike to you, know. nigga? Cool dude. Bro. That's cool. <laughs> no, man, yeah. I, just, I don't even know that nigga, but I guess he all right. Go Dipers, ahead. Diapers, man. No, nah, man, keep going, bro. Di- how, many, how many episodes? 115? 115. Oh. That's true, relentless man. episodes, diapers, man, thousands of hours of editing. It's cool, I never shit. Nigga, I'm just, I mean, I'm just, I never shit in the diaper. I'm just a side yeah, bitch, really? huh? Hey man, I talk about y'all all the time. And <laughs> side hoes, <laughs> that's cool. Hey, did you read my article where I mentioned y'all in the article? Uh, uh-huh. All right, uh, yeah. 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 I mean, all this right. is documented. Yeah. This is. I guess I don't listen. Did you say my name? I guess. Did you say it? I did. All right, you in there? I mean, all right. I guess you haven't read the article. Damn. Think about it, niggas. You taught Eric Davis how to read and teach us. So there's that. Damn. Yeah. Just don't even read stuff about it. <laughs> it's cool. Um, but yeah, we got to Ann Arbor like oh, 10 30 a.m. Oh, really? Started drink. Well, Eric started drinking the moment, <laughs> the moment we got in the car. But <laughs> that's how I go. Yeah, he he one of those that's like. <laughs> oh, you know, bro. So you. you oh, yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, not my best friend. Great guy. <laughs> yeah. Man. But no, nah, Eric. Is he in the wedding? Yes, yeah. he was. Okay, for sure. So I've definitely met him. Yep. Yeah, bald head with the beard. Yep. Um, yes, I do remember my guy. Okay. And he don't stop sweating. He one of them. That was the guy. I remember <laughs> that exact, <laughs> yeah. that exact I situation. I remember that from your yeah. wedding. Because your shit was hot as balls. Yeah. So he niggas like, remember. He's like, <sighs> no, he was sweating. This nigga was sweating at, at the club. Bart- I mean, <laughs> yeah. we, 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 oh, yeah. we in the middle of the club. Like, he's just sweating. But shout out to E. And yeah. second, he just loved drinking. Like, oh, yeah. okay. it's not about nothing If it's beer, drinking. it's yeah. one of them ones. Yeah. Give him a Bud Light Bush. It's gone in two seconds. That's crazy. Is done for. But uh, we got there, like I said, 10, 30, 11, um, hit up the tailgate lot. Had a couple other friends coming later. Shout out to Carrie. Agent Mike popped up. Uh, we call him Agent Mike. It's, it's, it's really not a racist thing. Yeah. Um, but Shout out to Agent Mike. He cool as hell. Yeah. So Mike came through. Calvin came through. Uh, Unk came through. Uncle you had to Mel say it's not through. racist. So, uh, it's a little funny. <laughs> but go ahead. Go ahead. No, nah, I mean that. No, I get it. You got it. It's the it's, audience. It's the times. You know, it's 2022. It's like, the times. Just gotta, Niggas can't even say know. a reference. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, man. <laughs> Anti-Semitic. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Everything. <laughs> Everything is anti-something in this bitch. God damn. I have not been that drunk in a while. Oh, yeah. I like that. Balls. 11 a.m. <laughs> to 8 p.m. Man, out here taking advantage of the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Just, Drink just, up. Just, just <laughs> drunk, man. But it felt good. The weather was great. Like, weather was perfect, so it felt good to be outside. Um, I got to shout out my guy, Keith. Uh, Keith is an older gentleman. Uh, in this tailgating lot, we uh, ended up doing a couple beer bongs. I beer bonged a White Claw. I don't know why, but um, yeah, his stomach probably hurt after that shit. But uh, shout out to Keith. Uh, Keith was sticking around the tailgate, had his TV out, watching the games all day. Yeah. We were like, "Yo, Keith, is it cool if we 
going to hang and watch the game here. We were going to go to a bar or something and, you know, whatever. But Keith was like, oh, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Um, just real cool dude, older white gentleman. Um, had some food going, had the TV going, had some snacks for us. And I just want to shout out Keith. Keith will never listen to the podcast, but really thank you, Keith, for uh, – All right. Shout out Keith. For really uh, – Yeah. Yeah, for, shout out Keith. Shout out Big K in that mug. For really creating – a nice experience in Ann Arbor for the guys. So I hear Airbnb hosts. Yeah. It's dope. Like, shout out to Big <laughs> Keith, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was a great week, shout man. Shout out to Special K. It shout was out a great to week. Take Keith, man. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Take Keith over at uh, in Ann Arbor. In the lots. Yeah. For Hold, sure. Holding it down for the people that didn't have yeah. the TV to watch the game. Keith Ooh, from Howell, man. Michigan. He said, come back I'm in joking. two weeks. I'm joking. <laughs> Man, he said, "Come back in two weeks." I was we, happy. We're gonna to pick have up on guys. this topic again once we got out of the intro, but yeah. we are about to talk about the infatuation and the love that older. It, I feel like <laughs> Go are we gonna talk, no, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. Finish older, up, finish white, up. heterosexual no, no, males yeah. have for other black heterosexual males. Young so though, you have to be a younger yeah. age. Yes, yep. we'll talk you about it in the next 30, episode. Thirty-five. Yeah, yes. with that being said, my week, bro. Daryl, how was your week, brother? Appreciate it. Pod, we're good. Um, everybody's everybody's good. I have no no complaints this weekend. Uh, I, I will say on a wine tip, enjoy K Miss Saturday night. That was low key. That was a low key night. I opened it on my own, and I was like, man, I forgot how much I like K Miss. That was that was a K Miss select too. Yeah. Still have yet to have K Miss, yeah. bro. Uh, it's a it's a time to time to be alive. You I had a swaggy shirt on, my guy. I just cheated, man. I, I appreciate. Where'd you it, grab man. that from? I appreciate it, man. It's Ted Baker. Shout out to Ted and okay. Baker. Yeah. Um, is that an AK uh, find? This is a. Uh, Internet find. I did find a designer at AK. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm back into my. It's year. always a reference there. I'm back into my my uh my shirts. You know okay. me. Okay. Yeah. No, I know. Love it. Appreciate it, man. Uh, everything else is good, man. In a time where where a lot of a lot of agents are, are are dying off, we are surviving. We have. I feel very healthy as a business. Talk I to these niggas. I will say this. Um, I heard this really great great thing from Dave Ramsey this week, which I really hate everything Dave Ramsey speaks upon, but. This this guy named Graham Stephan, he reached out to Dave Ramsey to evaluate his investment portfolio. And this is not important. It's not about money like this much, but it was uh it was more so for everybody that is always struggling. Like, oh, I don't know that much about stocks, and then just throw a bunch of shit into crypto. Um, Dave Ramsey looked at this dude. He's a real estate broker like myself, and he he says, "Yeah, I got eighty percent in in real estate." And Dave Ramsey said the most profound shit. He was like, well, what is your knowledge base? He was like, well, yeah, it's probably 80% in real estate. And I was like, fuck, mm. we all just got to invest in the shit we know the most of. Mm-hmm. If you said real 80% steel. of my investments are in, in wine, if you said 80% of my investments are in me, like, we got to figure out that. Mm-hmm. There's no perfect way of doing it, but you know, you invest in what you know. And I thought that shit was amazing. Like, because mm. we it's get tough. so self conscious about shit, like, oh, you hear about somebody else, oh, they got <laughs> like 10,000 fucking trucks. Like, yeah. no, I don't give a fuck about what they got over there. They know that shit. I mm-hmm. don't know that. But if you said you had a wine cellar worth X amount with insurance on your fucking wine, like you mm-hmm. figure out the, the nuances right. there, same thing. Same thing with your shit. Like if you say you invest into X amount of media companies, if you invest into X amount of this and you know that you got these cameras and you got insurance on that, you know that shit. So right. you could have all your net worth in that. Right. Like, And I thought that was beautiful. That's my, yes. t- that's my shit this week. That's is that Don't give a fuck about what anybody bars. else is doing. Yeah. Talk to these niggas. Big 100%. Bars. 100%. All right. Uh, with that being said, we're about to get to the, to the next episode. Let's, uh, next segment. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Hey, what's going on? It's the Music in a Bottle podcast. We're here. We back. Yes. Should we introduce wines? For sure, man. Yeah, we, we can go should. ahead. Let's do it. Introduce wines. Okay. Um, you got, man? Y'all got it. Y'all oh. go first. Yes. Look it. I got the... We ain't got some heat today. I got the Hughes That Juice. Shout out to Eric Riesling. Lachey, uh, creative director of Carbon Stories. This ain't no Riesling. I'll be sorry. Y'all be trying to box me in, man. I ain't Roddy Rich. Hey. Either. What are you talking about? Uh, hey, you got to... <laughs> hey. <laughs> what a deal Hughes that last, juice. What a deal to say in the last segment. <laughs> you right, bro. You Invest right. in Riesling if you want. Mm, if I'm going to drink so much, I got to find one, huh? Yeah. I mean, well, mm. you got to go with what you know yeah. or reinvest in your hood. Mm. You know what I mean? Reinvest in your, your hood. hood. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Atlanta. Uh, Hughes that juice by highly recommended NYC. Um, this is a 2021 white wine. There is a mix of grapes here. Um, 13% alcohol content. This is, uh, they did just have, I know I was just looking at the two. It's at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Yep. 80%. 
uh, German wine. It's like or German grape. It's Ju Ju Gewürztraminer. Gewürztraminer and twenty percent. This is like a French one because so it I did look deep. it up. It is a French one. Come on, Alsace. Uh, Are you kidding? Good. It's Oxara. Oxara. Coming to America. That boy good. Twenty percent Oxara. Oxara. Um, but this is fire, man. This is a really good wine. It looks like it is a similar. It looks like a wine boutique or some of some sorts or like a, a um. Some type I don't of know, distributor, but the, juice is fire. But the ju- yeah, this is really good. Uh, shout out to them, shout out to them guys over at uh, a little hazy, highly recommended to watch. See, a little natty, yeah, going on. Got me yeah, yeah, yeah. It has some it. skin contact in there, so you know it got a little color to it and whatnot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, mm-hmm. so it's banging, man. So far, so good. What you got, Jay? Love it. Uh, back on the champagne kick. Um, got the Sherlon uh, Champagne Brut Special. Um, just a quick little mm-hmm. snippet on Sherlon. Uh, so uh, Talk to this managers. is the first black owned <laughs> champagne, uh, shout out to hall of famer, Isaiah Thomas. Uh, I think it was like that partnership was established in 2016. Um, the actual Sherline like champagne house, I'm sure has been around for obviously years. Right. Um, but, uh, Isaiah really wanted to make a champagne that wasn't like this, like the super sweet champagnes that you kind of see on the. U.S. market. Um, he wanted to make one uh, that was had zero sugar added or low sugar added. So uh, this one has six grams, uh, which some champagnes can be a little bit more sugary or have right. a little bit more of that residual sugar. Uh, but this is actually low key fire. I'll give you the notes at the end of the show. But um, twelve percent alcohol again. Uh, Sherlon Champagne, uh, their root special today. Educate you, men. Hundred percent, man. In master class, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> 2017 McLaren uh, Bell. Uh, this is out of Church Block. This is a Cab Sauv, eight fifty two percent Shiraz, thirty nine percent, and Merlot nine percent. I am enjoying this one. I've already had two glasses of this bad boy. Also, Ranger has an amazing wine as well yeah. this week. I'm looking forward to trying Jamel's out of Church Block, man. This is an Australian wine. We out here in the streets. Um, Me. Out here, we are in my studio, guys. We we do dope juice. To the streets. Mm-hmm. Dope, dope juice. streets. Dope, dope juice in the studio. Dope juice. Shout out to uh, yeah. uh, uh, um, uh, George, because that nigga say dope juice all the fucking time. I feel like that's when I first heard the saying. Dope, dope juice. juice. Bless. Yeah, man. Shout out to the guy. Blessings. Shout Blessings. out to G though, for real. Yeah. Shout, shout out to G. Out to G. Uh, yeah. He is on the cover of Wine Business Monthly <laughs> for the Stop November issue. That boy, Come man. On, man. Uh, Damn. Boy. Shout out to the homie, man. Yeah, yeah. man. It's dope yeah. to see the growth. Yeah. Real for real. Yeah. It really is dope to see the growth. I know we shout him out every five episodes, but it's dope to see uh one of the homies that we oh, you yeah. know we kind of linked with. Homegrown. Um, doing yeah. yeah, doing what he do, man. We I mean I shit, I'm still cr- I'm still go crazy off the call. The D Wade call. I remember yeah. when he got that bitch. He was calling <laughs> yeah. like it was like damn, you know. So it's yeah. just dope to hear, bro. Yeah, it's man. Dope. I just got to Yeah, <laughs> you remember that nigga lit up. Like that's dope to see sure. though, man. That's just, and good, just man. Just to love, like, again, I've talked about it on the pod, too, just, like, going there and just, like, having just endless amounts of love. Or, like, yo, like, come come to this event. Come here. Come here. Come here. And just, like, off the, like, literal, like, sh- love and strength of just, like, being black in Napa, just putting everybody on, like, when you're there. And, and, and just being, like, a source of, like, like that connected source when you're there. So, shout out to G for real, for real. Amen. I love it. Facts. I love it, man. Facts. Gentlemen, what we listening to this week? What well, we, we go through this week outside of uh, shout-out to Migos? Uh, we get into the division this week? Division was, was division. one we was able to kind of leak into. Smino de Grigio. Smino did drop. Yes. Um, uh, Rihanna. Kodak dropped. Rihanna, Rihanna back. Dropped. Rihanna back. How'd y'all feel about the Black Rihanna? Panther dropped. Nah, I'm not saying Rihanna dropped. Rihanna dropped some, a song for the credits. Black Panther dropped. <laughs> for the credits. Black Panther soundtrack <laughs> part one dropped. She dropped a song for the credits, am I right? Credit. Or the, the, the funeral, tribute. the funeral of Chadwick Boseman. Am I correct? Or she dropped it. No? She dropped the tribute track. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Shit was cute. Cute. Was cute. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? So what are we gonna, are we gonna talk about it for real, man? At the end of the day, how y'all feeling about the Rihanna track, man? I, I, we, we, can go, we can go. We can go if uh, it just depends on which way you guys want to take the spot. Her forehead. All right, yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, yeah, he yeah, the yeah. one. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's documents the right guy. there. That's paper. That's government. Yeah. Shit, if you know I'm looking at somebody's forehead, it's really honest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like I I be 
<laughs> can I can I be the guy to say that like I don't once I see you with a nigga for too long, I get uninterested. So shout out to Rihanna, love Rihanna yeah. to death. I think she's beautiful, but like you ASAPs, it's over. Yeah. I don't even want to touch you no more. I know, but you know, we I would say the same with somebody for too long. I would say Devin Franklin, but you know, I mean, honestly, <laughs> at this point in time, I'm okay with it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this? <laughs> no, man, I, I just can't. I can't. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Don't leave I'm me not, out on the hill. Go here. <laughs> not doing this. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just oh, I ain't <laughs> sterile. <laughs> You're right. So, oh I retire. God. I do. I do. Yeah. I retire. I'm I'm done with the game. There anyway, with that being said, though, no. Um, Real Rihanna re- releases a track for Black Panther this Lift week. Me up. Yeah. Lift, Lift me, up. me up. Yeah. I, I didn't know where to kick off this week. I didn't know if y'all... We, no, we we should, we're getting to our bag. I'm going to keep it a buck. You know, it didn't lift me up at all. The, the track didn't lift me up. I actually felt I felt quite down. So you're not... It was... It put me down. It was mid, mm-hmm. but I did hear it on 104.5. 100 times. The fuck? 100 Hurts. times. You no you disrespect to you, Jamal. Why are you, why are you listening to 104.5? <laughs> why are you on the radio? One, Your shit got Bluetooth. One, no disrespect, bro. Yeah. Got an aux cord and all that shit. Yeah. Honestly, sometimes in the morning... Mojo in the morning. Okay. The phone scams. Okay, hold on. The phone scams. <laughs> this is the second man yeah. to say this to me <laughs> oh, in five days. This is, I'm talking to why. Why like, oh, Mojo in the morning. That's my jam. I listen to Mojo every morning. Actually, on the way to work. I love Mojo in the morning. Mojo in the morning. Like, it's yeah. phone scam. I'm like, what is we talking about? Hey, bro, how you okay. pull your brother off like that, though? Okay, yeah. Five eyes to tell no. your mom. Uh, I'm like, bro, that's what else are you doing in the morning? I ain't going to uh, lie, though. When I had to load... War the Roses. Military base, we did have to <laughs> yeah. listen to radio. It was Mojo in the Morning. They Mojo do the have morning, some dude. funny shows on there. Or yeah. funny like spits. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, I will say this. When I'm in Chicago, I do turn on the radio every time. Really? Chicago got two, uh, what's that, 94.9 and 104. I feel like that'll just help you kind of figure out what's going on in the city, though. Yeah, so, that's how, like, that's how yeah. I found Lil Bibby, like, back in the day. Okay. Like, I was on yeah. Lil Bibby yeah. on tip. But I will say, they got they got one of the best radio show, uh, like radios ever. Grand Rap is it's not so much for I understand the mojo in the morning to mm-hmm. the music. And I do listen to Ricky Smiley too on 104.9 yeah. in the morning too sometimes. Yeah. Uh but I feel it, man. Some of the best times. Shout out to Tom Joyner. Yeah, yeah, you grew up on Tom Joyner. Tom Joyner morning on this show. show. I didn't really yeah, like, grow up on it not. You know yeah, all that. Like that but mm-hmm. I was on the Steve Harvey joint for a minute too. That joint slaps. I mm-hmm. know it though. Yeah, this is um, a couple. Ricky Smiley, yeah. Yeah, Ricky Smiley. Oh, uh Keen. The best deluxe I've ever heard. I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He did drop the deluxe. Oh, I, it's yeah. funny yet, though. I just added it to the Oh, you know part. I boycott the deluxe. Oh, you got to listen to this one. <laughs> I boycott deluxe. You got to listen to this I'm one. I'm anti-lux. Yeah, for sure. I actually meant to text. I was like, yo, like you got to listen to this deluxe. Yeah. Yeah. How many songs did he have? Uh, like five or six, I think. That's not bad. Why not just drop an EP, though? What do you do? You know how people do. <laughs> he and took like, some songs from Kendrick. Took some songs from Kendrick? He pulled up. Mm-hmm. He pulled some songs off of it. You know, Fave almost got this. He almost felt the disrespect. You see how he oh, said I, it? I, I, some songs from Kendrick? From Kendrick? Dumbass no, nigga. I'm from Lansing. I'm going to check right now. 517, bitch. That would literally sound like extras from Melodic Boy. Just didn't make it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Uzi's on one of them. Don no, Tolliver's on one. I'm going to listen. You just. Okay. That was Don Tolliver is one. Don Tolliver's yeah. on another one. He was okay. on the original album, uh, yeah. but he's on another one. Okay. Um, That's dope. It was actually low key. Like, I was like, yo, like, some of these songs really are. I mean, Melodic traditional. Blues traditionally had like what, fifteen tracks on it, somewhere around. Yeah, there. had fifteen, like fourteen or fifteen. Then yeah. they added the ones that was the six that, or that five. came out earlier, like No Sense, Hooligans. Okay, yeah, yeah. Lost Souls mm-hmm. remix with Brent, and then they added like six more. Okay. to this. That's tight. And like they did like er, so like on title it says like Volume One and then Volume Two with like the No Sense, the Hooligans plus the six. That's dope. That's what's up. <coughs> you still got title, nigga. Free through Sprint, nigga. All right, yeah. I'm Perfect. keeping that bitch too. <laughs> no, facts. Facts. I had to make sure you weren't paying for it. And uh, like, nah, nah, that's factual. Hit you with the ER, too. He did. Yeah, yeah. I heard it. <laughs> I heard it. Hit you with the ER. I, I saw it. it. I saw it. That's, that's for that's, bro. You, crazy. you really West Michigan, ain't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't want to say nothing about shirt and scissor. Oh, yeah. I fuck with shirt and scissor. That yeah. shit's hard. That was way too. better than That's a really up. good joint. I was happy. She was oh, talking. Ray better than lift me up. That shit, shit don't lift me up. Yeah, now, now it's album time, though. Where are we getting this album? Oh. And she was talking about me. Oh. Yeah, nah. stand to my shirts. Hey, that little last 20 seconds is amazing. Yeah. The new song. 
or this the last oh, 20 seconds of this? I thought she was talking about the video on the video it's just never whole another song for the last like minute yeah because yeah, the end of this has like another an extra 16 seconds that sounds different okay maybe that's what I'm talking about maybe it should I, be on the end of this song okay because you listen to Apple Music right yeah it should be on the end I heard it I got Spotify Apple Music it got an extra okay. like 16 with like a little different verse Trippy like Red dropped a track it. with uh, Don Tolliver, too. Yeah. Bro, this beat is crazy. I, man, I'll freestyle it. Come on, now. Come on, bro. Had to put him in the dirt. Hey. Love Let's mama in a shirt. Hey. Had to take her out of the skirt. Hey. She about to get his work. Mm. Fuck with us, you get hurt. Hey. Come on. I'll yeah, Brent. Him. I traded <laughs> it all for him. I had to see. Good luck, man. Yeah, yeah we're sure. in a low-key solid week. It so, yeah, knows. I did like that, Sonder. That was not that Sonder. That wasn't that. <laughs> Sonder. That Sonder. He got one song on there. It's called Break You Off. And I, I think that's the coldest one on there. That is a good song. Break You Off. Sonder didn't get any replay this. Uh, not yes. at all. I didn't spend it. I think, I think they made it for the ladies. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. That's fair. Which lady? I, I said plural. Ladies. Mm-hmm. Ladies. I'm just trying to listen to it. Right. Don't speak for all of them, I guess. Is it? Again. It wasn't I'm, bad. It just wasn't. Wait, there's nothing I can say back to that. What <laughs> <else you're saying? laughs> yeah, like, what you, you don't give me an out like what I'm supposed to. Yeah, okay. I, you, I, I, I get it. Come on, I throw out something I could. Like, I got you. I got yeah, you. If you would have said plural, I would have been like, oh well. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. There's no, nothing I'm I not don't. gonna disrespect. I, can't. I get it. I appreciate that. Guy, come on, what, who brought this guy in here? What, what is this, man? <laughs> six one six guys. This guy's too smart. He's too good for us. This here song get fine. Anyway, did you guys I, listen to Smino? Do you like Smino? I do like Smino. A I lot. did like Shout Smino. Shout out to Smino. That yeah. was a good one. Um, I liked all sure. the music this week, actually. But Smino was yeah. one of those that I went back to three times. You listen yeah. to Bikini Bottom too? Uh, by SpongeBob? <laughs> or by Ice Spice? I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> Is that Ice Spice? Yeah. Ice Spice, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Polo G dropped too. I'm going to start with just the music like, section of this. <laughs> I'd, I'd, it's Ice Spice. You know what you're getting every time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like she, like. <laughs> Had or, an or alternative <laughs> version to Munch. Yeah. And like she was like, oh, I like that line. I'm going to put it in a new song. Could anybody make that beat sound hard, though? Because that beat's ass. Munch? No, the SpongeBob shit. Bikini Bot. This, the beat's butt. You, no one can hop on this and make it sweet. What do you mean? I mean, I'm going to play it real quick. That's the SpongeBob. That's the SpongeBob beat. How can I lose if I'm already chose? Like... No, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. No, hell no, hell no. Fuck you. Y'all crazy as hell. Y'all are Man, this is. We do a music pod. We can't. Shout out to I'm talking about viral, like uh, Joe Button. This is no longer a music pod. I'm just like you niggas. Oh shit! Did I listen to the goddamn freestyle by Fabi? No. Hell, and no, that was the thing. Listen that. Y'all yeah, go ahead, bro. Y'all yeah, go ahead, bro. Play it. Man, come on, dog. Don't make me get out here. Like, Bobby I, did a god did freestyle? Yeah. That's hard. Did you find it that fast? I'm like, what the dude is this? <laughs> that uh, I don't know that was, what that was. That's what, that's, that's what they got to play when the uh, white people walk <laughs> past the office. I thought it was about John Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, god did freestyle by Fabio. I listened to it on Tidal. So it should okay. be everywhere. Fabio Wu? Or Fabio Foreign. Yeah, Fabi. Okay. Fabi. Sosa. Sosa? Viral. Yeah. All right, yeah, man. Yeah. This is Fabio Forum. God Dead Freestyle out of the New York, man. Up and coming rapper. I held off. I held Hey, we're giving him his first opportunity on the music in the bottle box. <laughs> Man. That's crazy. Fabio, you show us what you got, man. Go ahead. Show us what you got. It's crazy. Yeah. Take a thinky T Pain. Sometimes you gotta say your stats. Hey, you go, no, you go ahead and rap, now. nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we ain't got time for yeah. this, you know what I mean? Why niggas be talking like they're underwater and just be like, I can hear what you're saying. If you don't hurry up, get to this bitch. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Five day. Uh. Lord forgive me for all the drilling that I did. Who was saying viral before I did? Uh. How many drill rabbits came out of my crib? Yeah. yeah. Nigga, all of them. Niggas my seeds, I just water them. Yeah. Certain rabbits good in their lakers, niggas no extort. 
You're not doing that, Fabi. Yes. You're not doing that. I can't. I can't. He's not, he not, not rapping. He's not here. He, he right. How does nigga come That's in and try to sound man. just like Jay? Yeah, that was a. That was a That's your man. Come on. He, 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 he copied Jay's whole cadence. He copied man. Jay's everything. Yeah, he's my man. Five did? Man, the way you're talking you right now, Jamal. Five? I'm a, one second. <laughs> the way you're talking right now, Jamal, I'm, I'm worried about Fabio Four and shooting you. But <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say that. But I think that this is not it. Tell me when a nigga called himself Five ever in life. Yeah, for sure. Five did. Five did. Hope five did. did. Yeah. I'll go back to that ice place though. Y'all like F A V five? Yeah. Um, anyway, with that being said, yeah, that's not the hot take from this week. That ain't five, I, that's I can't, that. I can't get I can't do that. But Jay. the Lakers did get a win this week, which I'm very excited Damn, about. Finally. Yeah, shout out to Dyron Ham. Got his first win as a Lakers head coach. Shout out finally. to Finally. Shout out to uh who your team? I got a couple of them boys. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, um, my teams yeah, played. My teams yeah. played each other. And shout out to the Pistons for getting that dub. Oh yeah, Pistons got that dub Good against them, man. Warriors yeah. got yeah, the they dub against the Dubs. They did a thing. Shout out to K. Hey man, K that point. Niggas not fucking with K that point. Trip dub right or close too. He yeah, had nine rebounds. Yeah. K is nice. They brought back the teal jerseys this weekend too. Yeah, it seemed sure. like they had them for like a week, low key. Like they yeah. were they were at the home like the last couple games at home. They had the teal jerseys. I think it started Friday. I yeah, Friday and it's just was, been yeah. going. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's dope. But that's I think dope Friday was the first one that they rolled them out, and then obviously Sunday they played one or two. But yeah. I mean, shit. I'll, I'll <coughs> shit, keep them for a week or two. Go ahead and let them but ride. You can wear them all season. If you feel you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, for sure. Y'all, yeah. y'all got shoes to match that outside the terms? No. The jersey? Why yeah. you ask about that? Mm-hmm. I mean, need that. It's a cold jersey. It is, but like. I don't shoes match that shit. We all know that. Ain't no, we ain't gonna I, get no I don't know, man. We're gonna, I mean, find, I, that, we're gonna find that. We, we're gonna find that to you, like. The Grant Hill jersey is probably one of the coldest jerseys. I got it. I got that one too. Jerry Stockhouse had one too. Shout out to Jerry. People forget Jerry's Jerry. Jerry, Jerry was nice. Yeah. Second, I just wanted to know if y'all got shoes to match it. If you cop the jersey, I just got. I just got to wear the all. I just wear white ones. I just, wear you just got to wear the all whites. With when the, there's yeah. a point of view that is right, why did I ask that question? I don't know. <laughs> you know they don't shoes that match. Yeah, you got you wear the whites. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think I actually like the the old ones that stitch. I think the new ones got it too, but they got like a gold strip on them. So I would wear like the uh, they got like some gold Air Max ninety sevens. I like got them off one time, but okay. just stuff like that. Like you just got to go up the accent colors because you ain't gonna find that too. Do you hand. typically? Yeah, I got Tim's. I got. I mean, I'm get ready your to fight. shoes to match clothes or clothes to match clothes. Shoes. My shoes. For clothes sure. My shoes. I'm a, I, the shoes is that's important. We can we can figure all this other shit out. You know what I'm saying? I can wear a white tee with all this shit, to be honest. <laughs> we can talk about <laughs> we, we get all this shit off. <laughs> we got all I, shit I got a white shirt. shirt. Every day is yeah. a white button down shirt. <laughs> I, I have nothing. <laughs> this is, I don't know where it's came Facts. from my closet, but yeah, every day Before is a white we leave music, though, and mm-hmm. we, we touch base, Juan. Yeah. So the, the TikTok conversation I had with Juan, which actually yes. brought a very good point. So I hadn't been out to like bars with other DJs in a long time. Typically, okay. if I go to a bar, I know that who the DJ is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're playing music that's a little like cuts. Yeah, um, but going out, going to the wood, going to Dublin, they're playing like these top forties. But what I'm finding now is a lot of I didn't realize we were in this era of TikTok where like those are what's playing at the bar. Like bar music is TikTok pieces. Like mm. I'm hearing like uh, bitch, I'm stylish. The whole song though really? is playing at the yeah. bar, and I'm like, bro, there's more to this. Like it's crazy. Every and I'm like, every time I'm listening, I'm like, bro, this is a TikTok. This is yeah. a TikTok, but they're like control. That's controlling what's literally being played at the bar now. Wow! And so, so he, I mean, so t- they'll play "Bitch I'm Stylist," Glock Tuck, Big, Big T shirt, shirt, Billy Eilish, Eilish, and play the whole shit though. Do they remix it into the actual? They Nori? didn't even dub that bitch. Shout yeah. out to Nori. They didn't even. They just let that shit slide. And so for me, I'm like, bro, what? Like, again, all I know is that one piece. And they out there on the dance floor. They getting off. <laughs> they getting off. So, I might have times change. That TikTok, that TikTok <coughs> impact is is real. I didn't really. I mean, I thought you know it was more like a streaming impact, yeah. but to go to the bar and that's what they own. But again, you're looking at the Asian demographic that's there. Um, yeah, it ain't that makes sense. Yeah, right? it kind of works. You want some so, sis, bro, you want some yeah, sky? Maybe not. You might want to try that, bro. I'm already three. No, yeah, Friendsgiving on Thanksgiving. I like this. Why, why are we not doing one of those, bro? Friendsgiving? I got, I got an invite from a friend of a friend. We ain't got the condos no more. Girl, I said we. I got the condos, so. <laughs> <First, laughs> but niggas. we don't, nigga. <laughs> we don't got the condos. Jay-Z taught me ownership. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ownership is everything. Um, <laughs> don't get it twisted. 
All right, don't let me get up here for real, for real. Nah, that nigga's nah. You, we can throw one together real quick. Yeah. What we trying to do, man? Hello, I mean, I'll sit by that. Hey, I'll I'll that crib. I got a whole crib. I mean, for real, for real. I got an empty crib for my empty crib. I got a whole mag of wine. Yeah. That Not a mag. Mag. I'm down, man. Like, we should we should really do that, for real. Nah, I'm, I'm really down. That does. Real. I, I do got to, yeah, I like, I, I mean, the whole setup. That, that big room in the back. Yeah. That should have go off. We ain't got no couch there. We got futons, so we can't have that in my house. So you know, whatever, whatever y'all doing. Your location is prime though. Yeah, we're not fifteen ready minutes from house, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Next year, from facts. Mine. It is like right on the block. Yeah. I gotta get this couch first. Once I get this and couch, you got though, the backyard for it. Yeah. Next year was that where y'all did trick or treat night? No, so we went to Grandville. Oh, okay. around the corn. I, I want to have a segment on this right now. Yeah. Okay. Yes, my bad. Go ahead. Yeah, please. So, I. I'm a big fan of passing out candy. Like, I love doing it. I like it. I did it at Dayton. Um, didn't get as many kids, but I love doing it. Um, <clears throat> we were going to do it at our crib this year, but we were like, damn, like, we're on, like, a like a business street. Like, there's houses, and there's a neighborhood, but, right. like, we probably ain't going to get that many kids. Yep. So, our friends, Sam and Joe, uh, moved to Granville, so we slid over to their crib, and we're like, yo, like, what are you guys doing for Halloween? Like, we should all hang out outside, pass out candy or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so we went there, and we, we got a decent turnout over there. Uh, I heard um, System Law said that it really wasn't that busy at, like, down our block. So yeah. yeah. Um, <coughs> question before you get to going. No, I, you know you, I know you're ready, I, I, but I see you charged up. That nigga's steaming. Dwayne. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> <laughs> How y'all play it, though? Is y'all, like, y'all, give, y'all giving out, like, king size bars, or is y'all niggas, like, Y'all grabbing the, the variety pack and y'all passing all the joints this um, big. Like how y'all playing? I typically do the variety pack. Oh, okay, uh, so you want to We skip and, your house. Uh, I mean, you get a handful when you come to me. See, no, that's right, though. You got to give a handful. When you come the to thing me. is, you can't not have the king size <clears throat> joints and give me one snick. Like, I can't get one Kit Kat this yeah. big. You feel me? That's disrespectful. Yeah. You know, I don't care what size kid yeah. you is. You're not about to play me. How am I supposed to bargain with that? Yeah. What the fuck I'm going to do with that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we had kids this year, like, like where we were, because we didn't. We didn't have, a, like, a shit ton of candy, but we were like, yo, like, grab two, grab three, like, you know. Yeah, we'd get but you off. we were sitting there, like, eating, drinking, and, like, they would walk up and we had the bucket. That out. was the wild part, first of all. I seen Yaz with a champagne glass in one hand and candy in the other. I said, what is, th- what lifestyle do you live? <laughs> like, to where you have a champagne glass in your left hand quarter, and candy Quarter life right. crisis. Outside, though. <laughs> outside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> outside. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! I don't know, <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> oh man, nah, but yes, that's crazy. Daryl, get his ass, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, man. So the area, man, is uh, just let's just say privilege to say the least. But the cool shit is that kids come to all over, like for real, for real. They they were expecting king size. I give out fun size. All the black kids got a handful. And let's just say, I was, like, no, no, no. <laughs> I was giving a handful to the, to the black kids whenever yeah. they came up to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking to the parents. Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah. But let's just say when any other kids came, it was like, oh, just please just take one. So I said that to a little girl. <laughs> And no, she didn't. happened to say, she looked at No, you did not do Little this. girl said, I was like, oh, just one, please. And she was like. She gave me a look like, Damn. like you little fucking. Damn, <laughs> ruthless, ruthless well, little motherfucker. Shout out to no. all the black kids that came to, came to the no. spot, man. They, they got, they got, yeah. The thing is, in your location, in, in GR period, every yeah. neighborhood is so close to each other that oh, you hello. can be, I mean, you're talking three blocks over in a different direction. Yeah. And those kids don't, are opposite of privilege. So it's like, oh yes, mm-hmm. especially where I'm at. And yeah, the rip, the thing about GR is hard to cut you off. No, bro, facts. Like, go ahead. I was one of those that rode my bike over to the spot. Oh, man, right. oh yeah. To to go. Uh, we used to go to two different neighborhoods. Hundred like, percent. Like hit one per hour and then head to the other. That was joint. Because the gag was they was giving out more over here and they were yeah. for real yeah. for real. Like you can get everything. I remember one time, um, somebody was just giving out fucking fruit snacks, my nigga. Like out of a Costco box. That's a lit. I ain't gonna lie. That's lit hey, yeah, because good. it's eight pieces in a fruit snack. <laughs> Bro, and bro, that's bro. and if you get the Costco joint, that's an eighty pack. They giving out, bro, like just dumping, just them, dumping in. them, and that's low key the that's, cheaper that's, way to do trick yeah. or treat. And I would prefer fruit snacks yes. over half the candy you give me, my yeah. guy. Mm-hmm. You ever fruit get a snacks? Bible? I wish a nigga would get me a Bible. Ever yeah. get a little small mini Bible? No, yeah. but I ain't gonna lie though. I tried to go trick or treat when I was like fourteen. 
It's like that. That was when I realized I can't do that shit no more. That's when you get blazed on. The yeah, 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 for sure. yeah. And yeah. I went like with my football jersey on. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm a football player. You know, nigga, voice changing and shit at that point. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, you ain't know that you was doing what you was doing. What you was doing. What yeah, you was doing. yeah. Until yeah. you like got there, and they like. You kind of big to go trick or treating. Mm-hmm. Oh, nigga, what? I'm 14, bitch. Get, sick, don't get your big ass up out of yeah. here, nigga. <laughs> yeah, now I'm sending, now I'm sending yeah. a little nigga. Hey, one, bro, go get, go get some more, bro. Hey, bro. Just take both the rides up there. Let them know that I got sore throat. Hey, <laughs> there's a funny ass video of a fucking kid. This nigga seen the full, y'all, I don't know if y'all seen this shit, but he had the full bowl. The full bowl. He ran out to somebody's crib. Like, they had, like, you know how you got, like, a sunroom before you walk into the door? Like, yeah, they, yeah. They go to, he goes to the sunroom, they just got a full bowl. And they got a ring camera. Man said, let's see what we got here. Boy opened up his backpack, dumped the whole bowl, flicked off the camera, and ran. I said, yo, these niggas is different. He's different. That's so across the street from me. I'm sitting Mind there. Mind you, he's a Caucasian male. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to throw that out there. Had to make sure we knew what we were talking about. So across the street from me, I saw some shit like that going. And um, part of me wanted to be like, because across the street, they was out. It's two things that, that I learned from trick or treating this year. Number one is that <laughs> niggas just leave. <laughs> Why y'all laughing? Why can't I get my shit off? No, no, go ahead, go ahead, niggas go just learn shit. You are less than see it. Yeah, it's two things I learned. Yeah. Number one, I be running and like ki- niggas be having kids just to be getting drunk. Like for real, for real. <laughs> That's the first thing. Because I saw parents <laughs> going back. They left the bowl out and yeah. they would go. They would double back right across the street from me. They would double back just to get more Miller Lights. So I was like, Why the fuck they taking so many breaks? And I was like, Oh shit. He My neighbors, wrong. he's got his fourth Miller Lite, and he's just pounding them. Comes Outside with the kids and shit. Hey, Daryl, how are things going? I was like, bro, why your voice sounds so fucking? Why are you, why are you drunk? You lit? Like he was having a blast, bro. But second, <laughs> nigga, um, Monday. It, it, it's Monday. Yeah, nigga, it's Monday. <laughs> nigga, it's Monday. This nigga is you know trick or treating. This nigga is getting wasted. And mind you, trick or treating starts at like six, my nigga. It's not late. Thriving. Like, I didn't know up. what he was. He was a headband with a fucking suit jacket on. I didn't have no idea what this guy was. I threw a shot in my. Mm-hmm. I threw yeah. a shot in my Miller Lite. You want yeah, one, yeah, bro? Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, for sure. They get lit. But I was a. Uh, the second thing I learned was like, yeah, them kids don't give a fuck. Because at that same house, they had the bowl out there. And that's how I go. I wanted to be like, no, don't steal that. But I was like, no, nah, those niggas, I got a random muck too. Life. 100%. Treated life. Yes. But yeah, let's we get thought to- about leaving one like at our crib. And we were like, I'm not leaving a bowl that's for that's some kid to take. One kid. Candy. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. it. We just talked about Halloween. Shit. What else is some crazy events, man? We can talk um, about. Let's talk about. Um. Well, I guess we can talk about this uh, very lightly, treading very lightly. These um Kyrie and these anti-Semitic uh, conversation that we need to have a conversation about. Uh, y'all got to do your dear research. Read the books. Uh, hey man, don't come to a conversation unless you read the books. That's it. If this man say that it's a it's a book regarding his people and it's people come from a completely different class and say some things like anti-semitic then i can't do it this is what i'm saying yeah. if what you heard Kyrie say in retaliation of that you're sitting courtside with the uh hate anti-semitism shirts on the fact that you're sitting courtside is enough to even get this conversation, like, I don't have any. You already lost. I think that, you already I, th- I think the owner of the team bought the, got them from. Oh, bro, I don't care what it is. You're courtside at a Brooklyn Nets game. Yeah. Protesting. Not you ran down. Right. You're sitting there for the full game with the luxuries of. Yeah. Protesting. Sidebar, and Steve Nash got fired. Fired. I, just I, did I, I, did that. That. I did see that. I did see that. We definitely going to dip into that. Doing. And this man our boy from Boston getting a job. Yeah. So yes, sir. Out. Hey, round of applause <laughs> for my boy. Quit he playing back, with that boy. What he you back, thought this was, man? I know he yeah. said a round of applause. I'm going to see that ass clap. Nigga. <laughs> they tried to Nigga. put him down, but he's yeah. back. Yeah, he said round of applause. I'm going to see that ass clap in Brooklyn. I fucked up What they doing? Boy he said, "Let me see the training staff yeah. ass clap. I got you." Yeah, he said, "I'll take the job. Show me the staff first. I yeah, beat your sure. wife and the suspension, nigga. What's up, boy? Say, yeah. Quit playing with me." He said, "Just let me see the owner's wife first. Yeah, yeah. what's up, boy? Ume and Doku. Yes, when the interview process? He said he got it in forty eight hours. I'm waiting. Yeah. I got all applauses for this man. Sure. Let's get it. Let's get it out. Let's toast up. We get a win today. Yeah." He said they Boy. Have, he they're going to go to the playoffs with a long season, but no Nia. 
<laughs> yeah, you're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> yeah, I mean. You know what I mean? Yo, that's crazy. Tires rolling down the street, no bounce. Don't need no mm. suspension either. Come on, man. We here, bro. We here. Man. No gears. Man, them went through the whole NBA faced off here. Mm. Damn, this nigga on the way. Yeah, bro. I, I am. Where does Stu at? This is why I, I fast, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Salam alaikum, assalamualaikum, salam. Nah, I mean. Anyway, with that being said, man, shout out to hey, yo, everything is coming out this spot. <laughs> everything. There's nothing off limits. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh no. man, shout out to shout out to Kevin Durant for getting a coach that I don't know. This might be his best coach he ever had. For real, for real. If y'all follow like I coaching mean, staff, you keep it a buck. I mean, factual. And with the team that they got, this could be something that works. I would say Scott Brooks was Scott Brooks was his second best coach. Yeah, I'll tell you what, boy. That nigga better take them niggas to the championship. I mean, stop Steve Kerr for sure, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But Steve Kerr laced, too. Don't get me wrong. He is laced. From day one. Shout out to Mark Jackson for putting that team together. Mark Jackson. Hey, really did put facts. That team together. Facts. Coldest. Facts. The most undersized. People talk about under six foot and, like, undersized uh, shooting guards, but Monta Ellis is actually undersized. Mm-hmm. Pause. And. I feel okay. like he is truly one of the most talented guys there. Shout out to Mark Jackson for putting that together. This man had Clay Thompson, Monta Ellis, and Steph Curry in the back in the backcourt at one point in time. That's a different, that's yeah, a crazy. tough backcourt. Monta was a dog. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, with that being said, man, uh, Ma and Doku should be being announced here for the Brooklyn Nets. Nice um, job. I'm super excited to see that. I don't know if there was any crosshairs. I don't know if he was there when Kyrie was there in Brooklyn. I don't know if y'all looked that up at all. Mm-mm. Yeah, it seems I like said. he was a little too new for, with that. Yeah, but, yeah, definitely was. Hopefully, that nigga can figure out this Ben Simmons situation. Am I right, gentlemen? <laughs> Niggas out here shooting bricks. Boy. Yeah. But that boy have a layup and be like, <laughs> yeah, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> but want to pull from the tray and yeah. miss. Yeah. yeah, man. Bro, if you don't just dunk the ball when you're that close to the Big hoop, ass. Bro. You're huge. Yeah, I'm not. You're huge. You know, he got a game. Pause. Yeah, it don't make no sense. Yeah, sure. It really don't make no sense at all. Um, I will say though, prayers up to Kyrie though. Hope my man's mental health as well. I hope he's doing um, well too. At the Thank end you. of the day, I as well. W- yeah, <laughs> facts. Because we need yeah. to see what, everything that you're saying, yeah. Kyrie. And there's a lot of kids that look up to you that don't read, and now you force them to jump on Amazon, read books, read books, mm-hmm. watch documentaries, figure yep. this shit out for themselves. And I appreciate yep. that 100. percent Um, again, I th- I think if you're taking what Kyrie s- Ky- actually Kyrie didn't say anything. That's mm-hmm. the crazy part. If you're, you're taking the actions of Kyrie and calling it anti-Semitic, I I think we're running into a bigger problem. On the backbone of Kanye, which is crazy because Kyrie is talking about the implementation of it. Kanye will said a statement. Right? Yeah, and Kanye, we don't know if it's right or not. You can't say that Kanye's wrong, but then Kyrie shows you the book books that apply to that. And now he's, he's anti-Semitic. anti-Semitic. You can't. Like, <laughs> it's the implementation of what Kanye said. Yeah, I think that's where we're going. Even I mean, for me personally, like me personally, I'm saying myself, um, I don't see <laughs> the comment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really see the comment where, uh, Ye said something that was anti-Semitic. From what I've seen, from me, I have never. He didn't say, "Yo, I hate X, Y, and Z." Yo, these people are just ex coming to Earth, X, Y, Z. I didn't see that. What I did see was you making an ob- observation of businesses, corporations, heads of ETC, and someone didn't like that, and now it's a way that's felt about it. Yeah. I'm not there, so I can't say what's right and what's not. I don't know. But if we're looking at, again, who owns a lot of these major companies and corporations... I guess we're going to say, ironically, they are owned by Jewish families. <laughs> okay. Scary. Yeah. That's I mean, and that's all bro said was, yo, the heads of these corporations are Jewish. That's literally m- roughly the lines of what he was going about. Yeah. And they own the media stations and channels. I can't say that's anti-Semitic. Like, if somebody was like, yo, uh, you know, um, and I can see, I guess, where you, you compare it to like, if you compare it to something where you said, like, yo, all black people are so-and-so and so-and-so, we might feel away. However, it might be some truth to your statement. Whatever you are saying, 
I wouldn't call you racist immediately. I would want to hear the yeah. you know kind of right. where you're going with this situation. So I just think that there's just more. I think there's more listening that needs to be done. But again, I think that him being butchered in the media is literally. That's what he's saying, though. Like, he's I mean, he's not wrong, yeah, bro. I mean, I mean like, my guy up, got like, to eleven billion dollars net worth on what he said. Did he say that that was the highest he said at one yeah. point in time? But now he's like at nine. Maybe yeah. it's, maybe it's two. Maybe he only has a hundred liquid and that's all he has Bro. but it is scary i mean shout out to him like they did something to get to the top point yeah but he he said one thing that was like all right you go to the top song on apple music right now and it's a nigga talking about um i fucked your bitch i shot a nigga i fucked your bitch i shot a nigga i fucked mm-hmm. your bitch i shot a nigga and then it was Ashton martin truck by roddy rich at the point in time that i looked right. and what was it nobody know what the fuck yeah mm-hmm. like it was the same thing now, the issue is it's not so much roddy rich roddy rich isn't an issue it's the fact that Roddy Rich's music label is owned by Warner Brothers, and Warner Brothers is, wa- is owned by Lynn Blavnik, Blavnik. Or you jump to even Drake, and he's pointed out in songs that Lucy and Grange has to write the check. Lucy and Grange, mm-hmm. who happens to also be, I feel like scary, this scary yeah. shit because like bringing this up, wow. but yeah, Lucy and Grange owns Universal, so it's like, damn, both of them too. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just think we can't start looking at. I, don't, I think we had this conversation on the pod before about different topics, but we can't just start looking at what's truth, and because you don't like what you hear, now it's, you know, X, Y, Z. I think that's where we kind of run into that problem. Um, and again, playing it in Kanye's part, if he says, yo, this j- uh, the Jewish-owned media is trying to get rid of me, and then when you make that comment, the Jewish-owned media is trying to get rid of you, oh. it's like, yo, y'all playing exactly into what man's is saying. Yeah. So, um, it just gets tricky. Again, not uh, for any anti-Semitic. Same thing as Kyrie saying, yo, we're not for any of yeah. that. However, do your research into these these families that own these companies and how they work. And even going deeper into what Ky- Kyrie talks about, um, he looks at, you know, the original uh, Jewish origin and the Jew origin. And, I mean, it's something, again, to you, like you said, bro, read up on your own shit. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, you got to. Don't come to this conversation without the facts. Yeah. Because that's all it is. I mean, like, it should be I, – I, I would love to see, like, the reading pieces. It's all about education so that you can speak confidently. Like, mm-hmm. instead of reparations, be like money. What if there was just, like, yo, reparations is that every black person in America gets a master's degree? Bro, I, I said, was thinking about that shit the other day. I, I literally like, said, don't give us the br- – I mean, if you don't want to give us the bread, you yeah. can't give us the bread. 400 years of education free for black people. 100%. That's simple. We had 400 years where we couldn't even learn to read and write. Then you could weed the, the week out from that. And it's I'm not saying that week, but it's just like, fuck it. It's like, facts, though. Yeah. Because it's like, because again. It's mad facts. At the end of the day, bro, there are people who aren't going to push that. And that's fine. You chose it, though. At least you're giving the people who are yeah. the option to make it happen. 100%. Because it's the same way on the flip end. I'm not saying, I will never be the one to sit here and say, yo, the whole white population is educated. And yeah. I will never be that ignorant to make that statement. Because no, 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 it's no. not true. However, the ones who did decide to, to move forward in education had an easier means of doing so. Easy enough, man. Exactly. So now, flip the script. Let's do it again. Yeah. Let's make it to where every reparations for the next 400 years, black people are allowed to go to school for free and complete a master's and or a doctorate if they feel it. Yeah. Whatever that looks 100% like. 100% for uh, school for free. You can go study whatever you want. I mean, and that, just, that just changes things because yeah. it's, it's not so much of like, not only, uh, like, not our generation, right? We're going to go to school. We, uh, most of the people that we grow up with, like, they do choose to go to the four years. Exactly. Like, or, at the very least, some college. I, I, I just don't, even, uh, from the city of Grand Rapids, like, right. I don't know much, m- many people that didn't even choose to jump into CC, mm-hmm. community college. Yeah. But I think about the generations before us. Yep. Not so much my parents either. I'm talking about mm-hmm. grandma. Before that. Grandma. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, grandma, like, if she had the opportunity for free, I'm showing sure up. The free 100%. Ball. The free yeah. 100%. Ball. So, I mean, definitely, I mean... I mean, you can give me a couple of G's if you want to, sure. but I definitely think end of the day. Said that. <laughs> but what I do say, I mean, the game is so crazy. I know how it would go. You give us that 400. Now that master's degree means nothing. Now that doctorate degree is mm. minimum. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the goal is the, the goal post is going to get moved. There's yeah. going to be an always and always, always a move that's going to happen. Always but something. you know what I'm saying? I can think as optimistic as you want to, but you know what I'm saying? Again, back to what these niggas saying. There are certain people who play the game and run the game, and so you can't. It's tough, man. We're 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 definitely uh, far behind on this uh this this board game, bro. I tell you that for sure. You just gotta so. be a black CEO and own Disney. You feel me? Yeah. Shout out to Atlanta. That was the greatest episode I've ever seen in my <laughs> life, dog. 
That was great. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all yeah. go ahead. Spill the beans, man. All Atlanta. Right, man. So Let's Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta came with the best episode. And I, I want to walk back my take from last week that the camping trip, it wasn't my cup of tea. And it's not because of camping, Wayne. It's not because of the camping nah, episode. Man. But You're it was truly like. Camp no more. Huh? So you can't go on big camp no more. I, I know. I set a whole I'm, trip aside for you. you I am, uh, I'm actually a little camp. <laughs> <laughs> Low camp uh, <laughs> ab- ab- ambassador, so okay, okay. yeah, for sure. I feel that. It's all about real estate when you're thinking about camping. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> oh. No, for real, for real, man. Like it was a, it was a great episode. It was. I mean, again, like it was, it was one of those episodes where we didn't have the typical cast, but it was a good episode where we yeah. didn't have the typical cast. And there were some good ones last season that didn't have the cast either, but. Um, this one, like, really, one, it took you back to a movie that we probably all watched, yeah. uh, a goofy movie, mm. um, and really, like, related that to this fake, but almost, like, could have been, or, like, like literally, like, yo, like, is this shit real right now? Right, like, yeah. Like, it was, it was well played, well, uh, created, definitely probably one of the best episodes out of all the seasons. I think so. All right. Y'all got me excited. I'm going to have to go ahead and good. do a little binging tomorrow on my it was my good. chill day. It was great. It was, it was a great good. episode. Yeah, well, man. I won't spill too much, but it's it definitely, like, you remember why or, like, why you like the show to begin with. Right. Yeah. Like, with this one is all I can really say. Okay. Appreciate it. I like it. Yeah, I liked it, too. The story was amazing. The cross-eyed uh, headshot was amazing. Did you catch that or no? I catch that. <laughs> Cross-eyed headshot was hilarious. And then the fact that the old boy was like, he started doing this laugh. Yeah, the laugh was funny. <laughs> the laugh was funny. It also felt like his, uh, was that his uncle? Um, yeah, his, his uh, cousin. His cousin. It felt like his cousin had a little bit of like animosity towards yeah, him. Yeah, he was hating. <laughs> but yeah. it was like that. Y'all got that life. family member though? Yeah. Like it just mm. made it was like oh yeah that's a deep question no facts <laughs> I mean, we gotta say names but I got one yeah I'm yeah my, you got one side. on my side side yeah for yeah. sure I got one too that shit weird though it is weird like I I, I can't talk to him no more he's my best friend up until shit fucking eighth grade <laughs> damn <laughs> and we had the same opportunities a hundred not not on not anything not different enough. if yeah. anything more he had more opportunities than I did yeah how about y'all I, um, yeah flip I mean I put him on in a lot of shit mm. and so I think that's the thing. Yeah. Especially, I was the oldest, so like, okay, he's one of the ones that are younger. He's lying with like, he's in Juan's age, okay. Uh, but like, he always felt the need to like. It was always comp with him. One eight, one up. Yeah, it was always comp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's like, bro, it's not comp. It's love. Like, you know, what I'm saying, if I got it, you got it. If I got opportunity, you got the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, like, I mean, as far as like. Schools he went to, he, I went to public school, then he went to private school. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's, like, certain right. pieces that move differently, you feel me? But it was, like, the need to – it was just a need to flex sometimes when it's, yeah. like – And so now that it's, like – I mean, and I still give all love. That's the crazy part. I'm still 100% in on, like, the love aspect of it. Like, I'm never going to play you crazy. Um, I just know where I can keep you. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's weird, though. I, like, kind of have that. And, obviously, I got love for all my family and everybody, like – if I got time, like, I'm going to show love. Like, I'm going to stop through. Yeah. Um, but, like, as, like, I've started to get older and I'm not home as much, and when I do come home, I'm very, like, limited to, like, who I see, as I mentioned earlier in the pod. Mm-hmm. But then you get those family members that are like, oh, like, you ain't hit me up or you ain't, like, you know, you could have, like, you. So, like, I kind of have it in that sense, like, now as I yeah. continue to grow. Where it's like. Yeah. It's not my responsibility. I mean, it's. Nothing against you. It's just I'm here for a specific reason. I'm in and out. Mm-hmm. Um, if I have time or like if we at a function, it's all love. But I'm not. I'm not going out of my way. Like, when have you gone out of your way to provide, provide for me or like give, or like give me like a thank you or like no like yeah. Yep. I don't know. Fuck your shit, King. It is what it is, man. Yeah, I feel that for sure. Um, what else we got this week? Are we we wrapping up? Um, shit, we didn't touch on it. Uh, for the Michigan Michigan State game, but there was a big ass brawl. The brawl, the brawl, the brawl. Um, and also shout out to Young Tiz who showed up at the tailgate too. Um, shout out to Alex, <coughs> and he was not there in the tunnels to 
witnessed the battle at the big house. He was not with the criminals. Not the battle at the big house. The battle at the big house. Have you guys ever seen a Spartan, a group of Spartans, jump on a one Wolverine? They're already extinct. Like, you can't really. No, it's not. Marvel got one. <laughs> not Marvel, but DC got one. No, it's Marvel. It's Marvel. It's Marvel. Marvel got a, D- got a Wolverine. You sure? That's DC. Marvel for sure. Marvel. Wolverine's Marvel? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Them shits be kind of weak. I thought it was DC. <laughs> 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 Yo, movies on ass. I thought it was. Black Adam ass niggas. <laughs> you know I heard Black Adam was good. I though. did. It was hard. Right. Well, I was talking shit. I, w- I want to go see that movie. I Shout out to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. For, Claiming uh, his black side finally. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, that's crazy. That's really crazy. It's about drive. It's about power. It's about. I can't believe this nigga Tech Nine gave this nigga. <laughs> oh man, y'all! I wrote that I'm, bitch. I'm ready. I know. I know Tech wrote that bitch too. Shit, I don't know. He wasn't rap- rapping fast enough for Tech. I don't know. I know. That. I know. Just imagine Tech Nine. Tech how put fast that shit together. Rapping. It's about drive. You know how we freestyle. It's about it's the same shit. <laughs> it's about what money we devour. I don't know what the fuck he's It's said. about honor. It's we devour. Yeah, something. We take what's ours. I said, get this weak shit out of here. Trying to armor ass about here, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. That weak ass longhorn. Those some mics on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who shaves every day, nigga? <laughs> yeah, you ain't had that ball, nigga. <laughs> hey, man. Why you wasn't fitting in those fast Dwayne and furious Rock cars? Dwayne Rock Johnson for president 2020, 2024. He said he'd be, he'd be yeah. Anything my is nigga, possible. Yeah, different. <laughs> my nigga, yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love that dope. nigga, though, man. Yeah, shout out to yeah. Um, that shit fucking crazy. Show, uh, but yeah, man, I want I want to check out Black Adam in, in theaters. Ah, uh, same. I don't I really, really care to it. check it out in theaters, but I will check it out at some. At the crib. Next time, I bet you HBO Max. Y'all going to the movie store or not? Last movie I seen in theaters was Nope. I, I went to go see that in the theaters too. Yeah. Uh, I saw. <laughs> The latest Doctor Strange and Spider No all the the latest Marvel movies I did go see in theaters. Okay. Like I like the new wow. Thor, uh Doctor Strange, Spider Man. So. The way uh Disney Plus be putting them bitches on there, you ain't even got to. They be on Disney Plus in a heartbeat. Like I mean it's shit. True. It's like I think the Doctor Strange was on Disney Plus within a month. Yeah. And I was like, oh, word. <laughs> Let me cook this steak. You know what I'm saying? To eat this bitch here. But I was also standing, like, uh, at the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, South, yeah. Haven. South Haven. So, like, their theater was, like, one of them low-key, like. Oh, it's a lot. Four, four bucks all day type. Yeah, see, we need But the that. food, too. The food was actually regular, regular right, yeah, price. Like, yeah. yeah. Four bucks for the ticket. That's eight. Popcorn is really two. Yeah, like popcorn. That's two fifty three bucks. Man, I wish. How much was bucks. The blankets was three dollars. <laughs> Not the blankets. Bro, I be one. I be wanting a blanket when I'm in there. Is that the theater yeah. don't be cold, do y'all? So I said, is the theater is cold, but I go in there prepped. You oh yeah, like, like I, I never. Up. You ain't never seen me go to the theater with shorts on. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like even I got in the sweatpants, summer. hoodie. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready. To, like I look like I'm about to go to bed. Yeah, that's a good point. You could you could show up to the theater. Like you don't you don't need to be dressed at all. Ain't none of that. Flip Actually, flops. I prefer the opposite. Like ain't don't pull nothing in the theater. Yeah, like, that need to be what? a whole chill date vibe. I never I never did the date to the movie theater. Like I, you got to be yeah. we, we well seasoned right now. Yeah, this is like yeah. this is not Popeyes. This is like, oh 100 percent. Yeah, this yeah. Is, we're well seasoned at this point in time. Oh yeah, no, it, it wasn't really much movie dates. You ever tried but to pop off in that bitch like on some freaky shit? Yeah, y'all niggas, y'all niggas, y'all niggas, y'all niggas, y'all niggas say nothing. I get it. No, my, yeah. My well, we can only go so far. PG-13, I get it. But what I will say is that, like, a great idea. There are a couple w- movies that. Great date ideas. Shit was kind of empty, too, and it was like. He's, he's getting, getting off right? to Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> No, it's not more like Cloudy it's with a chance scary. of meatballs or something. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 you copping Cloudy with a chance of meatballs? <laughs> to get your meatball people. play with is crazy, nigga. <laughs> That's <laughs> nuts. That's <laughs> nuts. Cloudy with a chance of this. <laughs> 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 episode yeah, name Cloudy with a chance <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I feel like oh for me God. personally like I think it, the at home movie like the movie you ain't seen yet at home is super yeah. dope like oh, and then you if you go out of your way to go run by Walgreens grab some candy with oh the, bro yeah everything the move. so I watched uh, Don't Worry Darling what movie is that that's oh. for Harry Styles yeah I'll, Olivia Wilde mm-hmm. yeah that was a trip 1950s the wires was set up as like robots. It's like, hmm. Yeah, that shit seemed crazy. I yeah, did see the intro for that, but it was it was a good movie though. Man, it was a good movie. Yeah, Amazon Prime, like they low key come with the 
fresh movies, but Apple is low key. I think that's the most slept on. I have to get Apple. Yes, Ted Lasso is a great show. All the uh, me Lasso. knowing you guys so well because we're best friends. Uh, me, <laughs> <laughs> me knowing you guys, Jamal, we're, we're best friends. Uh, Ted Lasso is a great show. Okay, yeah. I like heard good things about that show. Yeah, like, like it, it low key is Dan Campbell. I, what I hope with Dan Campbell would be for the Lions, yeah. hmm. for sure. How's the wine, gentlemen? I mean, I, you seen what I just did. There's still some more in here, though. I'm probably going to finish this within the next 22 minutes, whatever we got left in this bitch. Yeah. I can't keep it. But, man, shout out to them boys or gals over at Mother Cluckin' Highly Recommended NYC. Um, I so. <laughs> <laughs> look, I look, I'm thinking we're closing out. Is, it, is that what Oh, yeah, we are. No, okay, no, man, no, yeah, no, look, I was just trying to, I caught the pass. No, I was about to pull the three. Um, yeah, he used that juice. Go down at the five. Don't don't score a touchdown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all. Yeah. Oh, fantasy football <laughs> points. Let's go. But I highly recommend it, NYC, oh, man. This is fire. Um, shout out to them, man. This is really good. Drink better wine. You deserve it. I like that. That's a little slogan on the back again. 13% alcohol content. 80% that German grape that my boy Jay said earlier today that I don't know what the hell he said. Okay, this don't shit. There's no V in this bitch. Gewurz, it's, it's okay. German. It's German. You're right. Gewurzmeer and 20% French grape. It was Oxara. Oxara. Yep, that's it right there. Oxara. Um, again, 13% alcohol content. I'm going to give this joint here, um, excuse me, a solid 8.8. This is a good wine, man. Um, again, different from what my palate is used to, so, but this is fire, like, yeah, it was fire, bro. I like this a lot, go. man, it did their thing, um, yeah, shout out to, um, you know, the grace with left on the skins to kind of get the color in and all that cool shit, it did their thing, man, this is a vibe, you know what I'm saying, I like this fire. a lot, I like that yeah, one too. good wine, so, use that juice, again, by highly recommended NYC, reach out to them on IG, um, they seem dope, Jay, um, Sparkling slaps. Tell us about it. The Sherlon Root Special uh, Champagne. Uh, man, uh, this was a vibe. This, this was actually really good. Um, I really bought the bottle because it came with a Pistons uh, like sleeve that said Sherlon on it too. So it was cool to get that. Um, but the wine was actually super dope. Again, seventy percent Pinot Noir, thirty percent Chardonnay. Typically in these champagnes, you see a grape called Pinot Meunier. Uh, but there's no Pinot Meunier in here. Um, but, yeah, this was fire. Got some nice firm, crisp bubbles. Uh, I would probably go, like, medium-bodied. Um, nice acidity. Nice, like, apple, citrus notes. Um, got a little bit of that brioche, kind of, like, bready tone to it. Um, I would honestly probably go 8.5. Um, this was pretty solid. Uh, not super cheap, but under uh, – 60 bucks, so decent. I mean, could go up to 70 or 80, depending on where you get it. Uh, but a decent, decently priced uh, champagne. And again, it's nice to see uh, collaborations with uh, or collaborations from like champagne make their way to the U.S. Um, so shout out to Isaiah Thomas again for um, the collaboration with uh, the Sherlon House. Uh, this was fire, 8.5. I love it. The Weera Weera. Church Block 2017 McLaren Vale. This Cab, Shiraz, and Merlet, Merlot blend was amazing. Um, I'm probably going to give this an 8.2. Had a good time with it. Uh, heavy on the, the Cab, but the Shiraz, it actually snuck up on me a little bit. So I really love the taste on this. This would go better with, it would pair better with a steak for dinner, lamb chops. Um, I would even say like pork mm. as well. It'd be, it'd be pretty solid with pork if you did it the right way. Um, but, yeah, had it, I enjoyed this one. 8.2 for this one. And this is a Music in a Bottle podcast, episode 115. 115. Yeah, with the team. First Yo. one of November. Let's be out.